Welcome back to the Morning Brew, Trinidad and Tobago. Well, school's back out. Do you remember when that meant a lot of traffic in the morning? Do you remember when that meant that you had to sacrifice an hour to a sleep just to get ahead of everyone to get to work on time? Well, actually, for some students, uh, very soon it may actually be a, a physical return to actual classes. It's called a, a phased physical reopening. And uh, here to talk about that and more is a tutor, first vice president, Mr. Marlon Seals. Good morning, Mr. Seals. Good morning, Akash, and good morning to your listening and viewing audience. All right, before we get into tutor business, I'd actually uh, like to give you the opportunity. Is there anything that you'd like to say uh, uh, on the killing of, of your colleague yesterday? Anything you'd like to say? Yes, um, thank you for the opportunity. Um, on behalf of Tutor, the Trinidad Tobago Unified Teachers Association, we would like to um, share our condolences or sincerest condolences with family and friends, colleagues, and students of the teacher that was murdered yesterday. Um, it is almost deja vu for us from the, in, as part of the teaching community, because at the beginning of 2020, we had a similar incident. So again, the tutor will be putting out a statement today our work in terms of gender-based um, violence, our work together with the um, Coalition Against Domestic Violence is well known, well documented, and we will continue to advocate on behalf of gender equality within our, in our society and against gender-based violence. Happy to hear that, sir. Thank you very much. So how did it go yesterday? First day back for your teachers. Uh, what did they say? I know some of them actually, did all of them have to actually physically go into school yesterday? Um, no, no, Mr. Samaru. Um, actually, yesterday was quite um, a smooth opening of schools. Many principals took the opportunity, recognizing that we are in a new paradigm, that we, will, we can't just jump back into school as we usually do. We know at the beginning of the second term, we will normally start from day one, but that cannot happen in this new paradigm. So the, some progressive principals took the opportunity to actually engage in a planning processes that will allow for the smooth transition throughout the term. Okay, good morning to you, Mr. Seals. Good morning. Right, uh, just to talk a little bit about uh, Ms. Sylvester, is there anything that Tutor has in place, you know, for teachers who are experiencing any kind of trauma? Anything, you know, like how we have guidance counselors for the students, is there anything that Tutor has in place so that teachers, you know, can speak their truth? Yes, um, we do. Um, the Tutor, one of the bodies within Tutor, is the um, committee for the status of women. And that committee, under the leadership of the third vice president, Mr. Darren Liam, we have a very close relationship with the Coalition Against Domestic Violence. So through that partnership, our teachers can access um, counseling, can access the ability to have um, emergency interventions happening, etc. So again, tutor, we are doing our part. Um, however, recognizing that especially with the with the stresses of the pandemic, the fact that many persons are now isolated in their homes, right? We recognize that um, new stresses are being placed on relationships. And I have this mechanism been triggered more since people have been at home. Yes, uh, we, uh, we are actually working closer with the um, coalition to, to ramp up our advocacy in those areas. Yes, we are. Well, I'm definitely happy to hear that. Now, imagine, we never thought that we would have gotten to this point where we have a school term, a second term from virtual learning, but we are here. Now, you said that some principals have taken a few days to plan and to sort out what is it that they needed to change or to look at in this moment so that schools haven't actually reopened virtually as yet. From our um, 
conversations with our principals, our principals associations. Um, many of the, again, they, they needed the opportunity to look at what happened last term um, in a strategic way, in a um, holistic way, in a, in a critical thinking way, so that we can then build on those successes and fix those failures that we experienced last term. So you will recognize that while teachers were extremely stressed out at the end of the experience last term, the start, the restart of school um, yesterday didn't pose the same kinds of um, experiences. The reason for that, our teachers being resilient were able to build on their experiences, build on their on what they learned last term, and were able to execute in a in a better manner this term. What are some of the failures you mentioned, successes and failures, and I'm happy that they are successes, but what are some of the failures of last term and how are you all addressing in this term? Right. So um, we recognize that the um, so one principle would have shared with us that the package scenario, the, the reaching out to students through the um, offline and hard copy packages didn't go as according to plan. Um, so more talk will have to be put in, in place to get that done, um, to reach the, to actually reach those students and to give those students the opportunity to have um, a meaningful teaching learning relationship. Mr. Seals, one of the issues that people complained about at the beginning of last term was that a lot of children did not have devices or connectivity. Now that we've had some months, are we seeing a shift in this in terms of the amount of children who are online, or is it too early to say as yet? Actually, it is too early to say because um, we would have all seen the Ministry of Education's um, tremendous strive to, and partnership with, with NGOs and uh, other persons, um, corporate citizens in our society, um, to gather these devices. However, notwithstanding that, um, the actual distribution of those devices um, didn't, hasn't begun as yet because the ministry is still um, looking at the logistics of getting those devices into the hands of those students who really need them. From your perspective as an educator, how much did this underscore the inequalities of education within our system? It actually highlighted those inequalities. We recognize those persons who, who tried within the system for the last term, with those persons who had the, the infrastructure in place. Um, again, when we, we recognize from tutor's point of view that when a family is faced with, with food, um, a food bill arising, gas prices, et cetera, and have to juxtapose that against um, internet access, which may not be seen as critical, um, it is difficult. We recognize that some um, students, because of the lack of devices and the only device in the home being that of the um, parent, we recognize that those students could only access education after working hours of the parent, which meant many teachers throughout the length and breadth of, of the country um, were forced to work outside of working hours, um, which is not a uh, a reasonable position, but we can we recognize the, the sacrifice these many teachers, many members of our association took on behalf of education, of furthering the course of education, which is the first aim of people. Mr. Seals, last year, last year August, when SEA students had to go back to the physical classrooms, there was pushback from tutor. Where does tutor stand this time around on children returning to the, to the physical classrooms in February? Our, our stance remains the same. Our stance then and our stance now, um, and we, we are clear to articulate that stance, which is that students and teachers should only return when it is safe to do so. Tutor will have um, 
articulated his position um, then, and the history is clear and would have borne out that tutor's concerns were in fact valid. We had a, um, a spike in cases, we had several students and schools being shut down, so a rush to action is not the preferred choice of tutor. So this, we this. are glad and we are cognizant of the fact that the Ministry of Education is in fact taking, um, meeting with its stakeholders, taking its time and making sure that all things are in place. And we will make sure, we from our point of view, will make sure that our teachers and our students are safe to return. So this uh, February 8th return that was proposed, that's still in consultation? Correct. And, and again, the, the Prime Minister and the Minister of Education said, as you again repeated, that is a proposed date based on the, um, on the conditions at the time, then we will be able to say for sure what will happen on the 8th and what the opening of schools on the 8th will look like. When will you all make that decision? Because we have uh, SCA students at home, you know, us parents of SCA students at home, and they want to know what's going on. So when will they have a clear idea of how they're going to map their child's academic progress for this year? The, the Ministry of Education assured the, and the Minister of Education assured the um, national community yesterday that by the end of this week, those decisions final decisions will be made. Uh, Mr. Seals, you said that it, the environment needs to be safe for you to return to the physical classrooms. Well, what would it take for it to be safe for you as teachers, for tutor? Um, we, again, will, will take the advice of the Ministry of Health. Um, again, our Prime Minister has demonstrated the leaning on science um, was, is the best way to go in this circumstance. So we will adhere to the guidelines of the Ministry of Health and we will take our advice from those professionals, um, public health professionals in, in that area. Yeah, but what in will it take area. for you? As tutor, what, what do you think needs to be put in place for you to say, yes, it is safe for us to interact with the children face to face? Again, there, there can be no specifics because we will again consult with the Ministry of, of Health and when they, when they indicate that it is safe for our members and our students to return, that then and only then will tutor sign off on any return to school. A lot of people return to work though, so for those who are saying, well, I went back to work, what is your deal? What would you say to them? I, I will say to them that they should, again, this, this is not new, uh, um, Mr. Thomas. This is not new. We, we, we walked this road just before, um, a couple of months ago, where we had the SEA reopening for SEA. And we are speaking about just one class, one class in an entire school where there are six levels or seven levels, and we had this uh, uh, super spreader um, experience. Um, it would be foolhardy of tutor to ignore the past, ignore the history that we have recently seen, and propose to do something different. Mr. Seals, so, we, Mr. Seals we do have to go, but is tutor in support of the SEA exam for this year? Yes, and we are in support of it being, um, we would have suggested to the ministry and, and that suggestion will, was taken on board where the SA exam should be um, pushed back. Um, there should be a narrowing of the curriculum. So some of the tested areas to be tested were um, taken out for this year. And the, in fact, the Ministry of Education um, would have indicated the area of testing in terms of the creative writing area so that persons can prepare for that particular area. All right, Mr. Steve Zona, thank you so much thank for you. speaking with us this morning. Okay, thank you for having Tutor. You're welcome.
First Vice, Vice President of TUTA, Mr. Marlon Seals, talking to us there. And he says that TUTA works very closely with the Coalition Against yep. Domestic Violence. I was happy so to hear that. So that teachers who are, wh whatever it is, whatever you're going through, he says there is a committee in place so that you can vent your frustrations there, you can talk there. So I definitely think that's some good news there from TUTA with the work that it's doing. All right, we take our first break. When we come back, we speak to a lawyer, Mr. Martin George, to find out is it constitution constitutional to leave nationals outside of Trinidad and Tobago? Do stay with us.